Hello again, Mr. Bradley here. In this video, I'm going to be covering finding the square roots of perfect squares. Now, before you watch this video, make sure you watched my video on squares first. Okay, that's the first part of the video where you find out what squares are and how to find them and blah, 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 because you need to know all those terms before we actually talk about square roots. Now, if you've already seen that video, great. Here we go. So, a square root is the inverse of a square. Let me show you what I mean. In the first example, I talked about finding the area of a square and how if I had a side of 4, and 4 times 4 is 16, so 4 squared is 16. Well, now I'm going the other way. So here I'm giving you the area. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 square units. Let's call them, let's say they're centimeters. So these are square centimeters and I'm saying, okay, the area is 9 square centimeters or centimeters squared. What I want to know is what's the side length? Now you can see here that the side length, we're talking linear units, is one, two, three units long. So if these were centimeters, these are all square centimeters, one centimeter by one centimeter, then this is one, two, three centimeters long. The side is three centimeters long. Now what I just did was I found what's called the square root of a perfect square. Nine is a perfect square. Now, that's in my last video. We talked about what perfect squares are. So, the way I can find it mathematically is it's written like this, and you might have seen it. It looks sort of like a division house, but it's like a check with a division house. This means the square root of nine. That's how it's read. You read this as the square root of 9. And what I want to know when I write a square root is what number times itself will equal this number? And the answer is 3. 3 times 3, remember 3 squared, is 9. So the square root of 9 equals 3. Let me give you another example. The square root of 25. So again, I'm asking you what number times itself equals 25. And the answer is 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. So therefore the square root of 25 equals 5. The square root of 81 equals 9. Because 9 times 9 is 81. So the square root means what number times itself will equal this number. Now, 81, 25, and 9 are all perfect squares. Not all numbers are perfect squares. But we're just going to look at finding the square roots of numbers that are perfect squares. Again, perfect squares were covered in the last video, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. And there's more. They go on for a while. Now, you're not always going to know the perfect square. You might know that 3 times 3 is 9 and 5 times 5 is 25. And 9 times 9 is 81. But let's look at an example you might not know. So here I have a square that has an area of 196 meters squared. And I want to know what's the side length. So again, I'm saying if this is 196 and I did the side times the side, what number times itself will equal 196? So I'm looking for, again, the square root of 196. Now, I don't know the square root of 196. Well, I do, but you might not. So you need to know how to find it on a calculator. Now, again, I'm showing this on two different calculators and two different ways to find it. These two calculators, unfortunately, are very different in the way that you find the square root of a number. So I'm going to show you on the blue calculator first, and then I'm going to show you on this gray calculator next, because they're both different, and you need to know how it works on different calculators. If you're not sure how it works on your calculator, do an example you know. Like, if you know that the square root of 5 is, or 25 is 5, then try to do that on a calculator to see if you're doing it right, to test to see if you're doing it right. So let's start with the blue calculator. I need to do the square root of 1 96. Now I'll just turn this bad boy on. If you look, now this is tricky because the square root button is actually in yellow or green, I don't know what color this is, 
above the x squared key. Now the x squared key is the button that actually squares the numbers. We covered that in the last video. Like if I wanted to do 5 squared, I would hit 5, hit this, and then I can get 25. Now the inverse, meaning the opposite of squaring, is square rooting, and you can see it right here above that key. Now in order to access that feature, I need to hit the second key first, which is in yellow. So on these calculators, I need to tell the calculator that I'm doing the square root of a number. So I'm going to hit second, and then I'm going to hit this x squared button. Once I hit second, it tells the calculator, now I'm going to do the function that's in yellow. So I hit second, and then I hit x squared. What happens on the screen is, you can see, I get the square root of, and then there's a parenthesis. The calculator is ready for me to type what number I want. So I hit second, and I hit this, and then I get square root of what? And so now I'm going to type in my square root number, 196. 196. So now I'm saying to the calculator, I want to know what the square root of 196 is. I don't even have to close the parenthesis. You can, but you don't have to. This calculator will just do it for you. So I have the square root of 196, I hit equals, and I get 14. 14 is the square root of 196. That means if I take 14 times 14, that's 14 squared, I get 196. I'm going to show you that again on this calculator in a minute. Now, unfortunately, not all calculators are like that. So on this calculator, there's also a square root feature. And in fact, it's not even a second key. It's actually one of the buttons. It's right here. It says square root of x. That means I'm going to type a number and the calculator is going to give me the square root of that number. x is going to be that number. Now unlike this calculator where I had to tell the calculator I'm doing the square root of first, if I said, hey calculator, I'm doing the square root, nothing happens. And I say, oh, 196, nothing happens. Because on these, you have to type the number you want to find the root of first. So I have to type 196, and I have to get that on the screen, and then just like I would square it, now I'm going to square root it. I'm telling the calculator, okay, find the square root of this number. So I hit the square root button, and it says 14, which is what I got. I'll show you a couple examples down below so you can kind of see it again on both calculators. So here I have a check. I have the square root of 36, square root of 225, square root of 1936, and the square root of 361. Now one of these you should know. And I hope you see that A is a perfect square that you really should memorize. What number times itself equals 36? The square root of 36 is 6 because 6 times 6 equals 36. Again, I'll show you on this calculator again. I would type in 36, I'd hit the square root button, and I get 6. 225, again, I'll do 225, and then I'm going to hit the square root of that button, and I get 15. So that means that 15 squared, or 15 times 15, is 225. I'll show you on the blue calculator for the last two examples because again, these are different. The, the square root key is a second key. It's not an actual button. It's not in white. So I can't just hit it and have it happen. So I'm going to hit the second key. I'm going to hit x squared because that's the button underneath the square root function. There's the square root function. So I hit that and then I'm going to type. You can see it's ready for me. It says square root of what? 1936 and I just hit equals, and I get 44. The square root of this is 44. And the last example here, let me just hit clear, is the square root of 361. So again, I'll hit second, x squared, because that's the, I want the square root function, which is above x squared. Now it's ready for me to type in the number. I type 361. I hit equals or enter, and the answer is 19. The square root of 361 is 19.
So that is how you can find square roots using all sorts of different calculators. Again, if you're, if you're using a calculator you've never used before and you're not sure, find out where the square root is. It might be an actual button. It might be a second function. But test something you know. Like I know the square root of 9 is 3. I know the square root of 25 is 5. So test one of the things you know to see if you're doing it right on that calculator. Okay? I hope this helps. See you in class.